Several stocks of the New York Stock Exchange getting halted earlier this morning due to a, quote, exchange-related issue. Let's get to Bob Bassani and see if anything's cleared up about this today. Hey, Bob. Uh, I don't have a formal statement from the NYSE. I just got back from the ramp. The ramp is the colloquial word we use for the technology platform at the New York Stock Exchange. It's, it's over here. There's a lot of tech people and uh, a lot of floor officials standing around discussing, number one, what exactly happened, and number two, how to deal with any issues that occurred uh, at the open. And again, I don't have a formal statement. I have asked them, and I am waiting for that. But here is my impression of what happened. Remember, at the stock exchange, all quotes happen, all the prices happen at once at the open. There is a single price at the open. And what happens is everyone puts in their orders to buy and sell, and based on those orders to buy and sell, a single price is determined at the open. What appears to have happened to me is that many of the orders that would normally go into the book, as we call it, to buy and sell, to determine the opening price, did not get in. We don't know why. As a result of that, many stocks opened with very little volume and had crazy prices. We immediately went to what's called a limit up, limit down situation on many stocks. I wonder if you could put up Mosaic for me, because this is a very good example. Of course, this is one of the big material names. So look at that. So Mosaic opened, closed yesterday at $48.35. It opened this morning around $40. Uh, it was a rather remarkable open here, $40.29. Now, we're talking about, you know, that's an $8 difference in a $48 stock. That was immediately halted on a limit up, limit down. They halt them for about five minutes, and then they attempt to reopen. On the reopen, as you can see, the stock traded about $48, went back close to where it was. So here's the problem. What's the opening price here? It appears that the opening price is probably erroneous since many of the orders, it appears for it, did not appear and was not priced properly. So is the right price $40.29, which is the opening price right now, or is the right price the opening after many of the orders seem to have gotten in and it was around $48 roughly where it was yesterday. This is the kind of issues they're grappling with right now. So that's the first issue. What is the correct price for some of these stocks? The second issue is just what exactly happened here. This is a very rare occurrence. Uh, there has been a massive technological upgrade for the New York Stock Exchange going on for never, uh, a number of years now. Uh, they're consolidating many of their old uh, trading systems into one system here on the floor, and it appears to have gone very successfully. We don't know what is going on today. Remember, occasionally in the past, there have been issues around software upgrades, for example. I don't know if this has happened. Again, I am waiting for clarification from the NYSC, but a lot of people trying to figure out the more important issue, which is what is the correct opening price for some of these stocks? Because guys down here on the floor, that's what they have to tell their clients. Did you fill at the open? Well, I filled, but what's the open? You see the dilemma. Carl and Morgan, as soon as I get more, I'll let you know. And uh, I have a question for you, Bob, because that clearly wasn't the right price. I mean, we right. know it wasn't. It wasn't reflective of the fundamentals. We expected Verizon to be down 1.8 percent. It wasn't going to be up 7.2 percent on no news. So did anybody trade? Did anybody actually buy or sell Verizon up 7 percent and buy Exxon down 7 percent? Yes, and there was volume in that. And that's a problem. So now they have to face your you're, I mean, you're right. The correct officially that is the opening price. But the correct observation is these prices are erroneous and they could bust the trades. This has happened in the past. This is not, would not be unprecedented for them to do that. And I wouldn't be surprised if that is exactly what happened. But we don't have any official word that that's happened yet. So remember, there's guys on the floor that are fulfilling orders. They're the brokers down here. They tell their clients, well, oh, did you have our order? We had an order at the opening price or we had an order for X amount. Did you fill the order? That's what they want to know. And right now they can say, well, we filled the order, but or they didn't trade or, you know, there's a lot of people trying to figure this out. And I think what's going to happen is ultimately they're going to find some of these trades were indeed erroneous.